All right, here we'll be treating NoSQL.com. So as you can see, it's Firebase.Google.com. Firebase is a special kind of database uh, that uses NoSQL, and um, it also has a whole lot of features. Firebase is just the backend you need for your application. As you can see, it has a real-time database, so we can build a chat app, build a chat app straight up, and it has crash reporting, Google Analytics, cloud messaging. Firebase is owned by Google, so you can expect all the features you're seeing here. You have authentication, you have AdWords, AdMob, and a whole lot of things here. Hosting, you can host your app on Firebase, and it's all free, at least for your first um, thousand users or so, or thousands of users. Uh, there is a pricing to it, so you go, you can go and check the pricing and see um, how free you can use it. But it's free if you're trying to prototype your app or start it up. I usually use it for all my apps, all right? So Firebase, it comes in several different languages. It comes in Swift, comes in Objective-C, in Java, JavaScript, C++, and Unity. So for now, we are building Ionic. Ionic uses JavaScript. So every time you're checking the documentation of Firebase, you should always consult JavaScript. All right? So what we're going to do is you log in with your Google ID. If you've not logged in, for me, I'm logged in. So just click on Console, and you can spin up a new Firebase database and start working with it. So to do that, uh, we will have to call it the name of our application. I can just call it Ionic uh, Image Upload. So it's opening now. Once it's open, we will continue. So these are some of the applications I built in the past. What we will do is to click on App, Add Project, and it will ask you uh, the name of the application we want to build. So we'll call it Ionic Image Upload. And then uh, it will ask you whether the project ID should be this. Cool, it's good by me. Then where the region is, you can select any region. I want to stand it. Let's select the United States of America. Then we'll click Create Project. Then within a few seconds, it will create a new database for you. And that is not just a database, a new application. The application suite will contain everything, all the features of database for your specific application. Now, once it's done, as you can see, it is done right now. And uh, we are logged into the application uh, dashboard in Firebase. As you can see up here, you have the name of our app, which is Ionic Image Upload. If I click on it, you will see the list of all the other apps I've built. And then, there are a lot of settings you can do here and um, user permissions you can set here. If you look here, you see that there is an analytics. That's how you know how many people are using your app. There's authentication, there's database. Authentication helps you to sign up users, sign in, handles the sign up, sign in, the emails the user will receive, and a whole lot of things. All right, so the next one is the database. It handles the NoSQL database. For now, our, our database is empty. That's why we can't see anything there. It's totally empty, but very soon we'll start saving users there. Then the storage is where you upload your image or your media files, your videos. Uh, that, uh, Google gives you a free storage, all right? And you can uh, click on Get Started to start working on it. Then you have hosting where you can host your app files. Then you have functions where you can save your cloud functions, your test lab, your crash report, and your performance. So for the most part, we'll be working with storage, database, and authentication. All right, to do that, we have to go and uh, set up our authentication. As you can see, if you click on authentication, it will ask you for web setup, which uh, we are going to copy very soon. But before then, we are going to look at our sign-in method. In the sign-in method, you'll see that you can sign in using into your Firebase application using several different methods. You can use email and password combination, which I want to use. I'll enable it. Click on this. Drag it to the right to enable it and click Save. So, which means we can now build an application that will connect to a database where our user can log in with their email and password. If we enable form verification, the Google can perform the or Firebase can perform the form verification for us directly. You can enable it. I don't want. If you want a Google sign in, you can just click to enable it. Facebook sign in, click to enable it. Twitter, GitHub, and Anonymous. All right. So, and uh, if you want people to be able to access this app from your domain, you can add your domain here. Maybe you have an already existing website you want to uh, access it from, you can add it. And um, you can set one account per email address, whether email addresses are unique. This is where you can set it. All right. And then you can set a uh, sign up quota and a whole lot of things. But this is just the basic we need. I just need to enable this. For you, you can try all these other ones. Now we're done, we need to copy our code and go and try and set it up in our, inside our application. I've clicked on web setup. Then we are back. It gives us this. So we can copy this straight up. 
as you can see this contains the key and everything i'm never going to use this app so i don't mind that this is being exposed uh, and um, we'll copy as you can see this is basically basic javascript this is javascript script tag it's telling us to go and paste it in the javascript uh, of our app all right so one way to do that uh which is not the perfect way is to go to your app in your ww section go to your index and paste it at the head section because it's javascript you can do that you can just paste it here and that's easy but for me i don't i don't like setting up uh, firebase uh, like this in in my application i like to make everything to work from inside the application so what i'll do is I'll copy only this. In the next video, what we'll do is to install Firebase so that we can copy this directly into our application. So for now, I'll stop this video right here. Thank you very much. I hope you now understand the folder structure and you now understand what Firebase uh, means and what it can do for your application. See you in the next video.